So you want to be able to level up fast in Pal World. You want to go from 1 all the way to 50. Well, today I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do it and why you want to level up fast in Pal World. Because some of you might be asking, what's the point? I can just level up normally. No, guys, you definitely want to level up fast. And the reason you want to do that is because you want to have access to one of the best resources and items in the game that are going to help you kill, destroy, and murder every single dungeon, every single boss, without having to repeat and retry. So if you like how that sounds, I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to level up fast in Power World. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So to kick it off, there are multiple ways to level up fast in the game. I'm gonna give you guys one of the basic concepts, and then I'm gonna tell you guys the exact method I've been able to use to be able to generate as much XP as I possibly can. So with that being said, let's start off with the first thing. So when you get started guys you are going to get started with a little yellow box that appears on the right hand side of your screen now this little yellow box is basically a tutorial that will guide you all the way through the game now the thing with this is that every single time you complete this task or one of the tutorial parts you will be getting a lot of xp so this is a really good way to actually level up and hit maybe level 10 level 12 right off the bat just by doing this tutorial in addition to that there is the pal box now the pal box is another way to actually get good XP because every time you guys complete the mission objective in Pal Box, in the Pal Box, it will go ahead and award you XP. So now you know, like, kind of like the basic thing. Now, the thing where things get a little bit interesting and when you start leveling up, you know, using it more often to level up faster is getting Pals. Now, every time you capture a Pal based on the Pal that you get, it's gonna give you a nice little boost of XP. Now, it's not gonna determine the level of the Pal and how hard it is to capture that pal but you'll be getting some really good xp just by capturing pals now the secret here is you want to make sure that as you're playing the game you start off by capturing unique pals very often because every time you capture a unique pal what i mean by that is a different pal that you don't have already captured it's going to give you a nice little boost in your xp for every additional pal so instead of you focusing primarily on just capturing one identical pal you want to look for unique pals because these are going to give you like 200, 300, 400 XP boost for the rarity of that specific pal. So what I would do if you start on the, on the first portion of the area, capture every unique pal you find within that first loading area to be able to get a good amount of XP right off the bat. So now that you've captured unique pals, what do you do next to level up? Well, in order to level up is once you capture pals, you're going to want to make sure you captured 10 of the same pals. Now, the reason is because when you captured 10 of them, you're gonna get a nice boost. Now, for example, if you're already in the world and you've captured so many, but you don't know how many you have, so what you wanna do is you go to your pal deck. On your pal deck, you're gonna go over the pal, and on the bottom head side, it's gonna say capture bonus. And that capture bonus is gonna show you that you have 10 out of 10. So you already know you don't need to do that one. So I go over to my cat, Katava, it says 10 out of 10. If I go to my chicken pee, it says 10 out of 10. If I go to the live monk, it says it's 2 out of 10. So that means if I capture 10 of these, I'm going to get a bonus. And I'm going to show you guys this in real time. I'm going to go capture 10 of these, and then you're going to see the XP boost there that we're going to get. All right, so you're going to see me actually doing what I'm telling you. We're trying to capture as many as we can of these. Uh, so we just need to capture 10. Uh, the great thing about this one is you want to make sure you get them weak. I'm pretty sure you guys should already know that. But another thing that's really important is sometimes if you just like, kind of sneak up behind them and you just throw the sphere on their back, it's going to allow you to be able to uh, capture them. In addition to that, guys, what you want to do if you find anything like this roaming in the world, like a boss that you could take out, you're definitely going to want to take him out because it's like about 1,500 points uh, if you do take him out. And theoretically, what you want to do is capture 10 so you can get that bonus. So with the boss, it's 1,500. And I think for each individual pal that you get, depending on the rarity of that pal, it's anything from 400 or max. So just capture all 10 of each and every one of them. And capture unique pals as you go as well to be able to get that maximum XP. So this should help you guys get to at least level 20 without a problem, depending on how many rare pals you find. Uh, the more rare pals you find and the more uh, you know, you're know you able to get up 10 of them, the more you're going to be able to level up. Now, after you get done with capturing 10 of them, now it's time for the other method to level up. All right, guys. So the other method you want to do after you follow the methods I already showed you, you're going to want to teleport to an area that has a boss entrance next to it. I'm going to showcase this one real quick so you guys can get an idea how this works. Uh, we went to this location right here and we're going to go to do this boss which is 
the the gris the gris bolts all right so we're gonna go in here and once we enter here you want to make sure you do this quick uh basically this particular boss fight takes uh i believe it takes less than two minutes for me to complete depending on what weapons you have um you're probably wondering laser how do you have a gun how do you have so much ammo i have a video that i'm gonna put out on how to get a weapon early that you guys are definitely not gonna want to miss and how to get the ammo really early as well you guys are gonna make sure you tune in for that because that should be coming over the channel so don't forget to subscribe but what we want to do here guys is we want to kill this boss as quickly as we possibly can uh to be able to be able to do this over and over um to be able to get an xp now this particular boss i believe the xp drop is 1500 so we want to make sure we uh you know we take them out as quickly as we can so one tip i want to give you about killing this boss if you actually aim for her instead of him he actually uh, takes more damage than he does all right so you aim for him i think it's like 600 damage and you hit him in the, in the belly here reload my gun here yeah so 600 and she does 900 so that's how you want to take some plus out just want to make sure you hit her and dodge here show you guys i'm not doing this like in a speed run i'm just want to show you guys showcase so you guys know exactly what to do when you come in here all right and we dodge that real quick I should almost be dead here all right and if i was doing this world last year i'd probably shave off for at least a good 30 seconds here as you see right there completely dead and you earn yourself 1500 points or 1482 to be exact um, so the main thing here, you guys, you just want to come prepared. You want to make sure you have your weapons ready, uh, your characters ready. So the great thing about this one is you can actually just drop down like this and you can just go in here and then do it again. Un unlike dungeons, you can actually farm these. Like the problem with the dungeons is like you kill the boss and you have to uh, wait for that boss to spawn again within an hour, right? So with this one, you can literally just keep coming in here. And the great thing is you can skip the cutscene, so you don't have to watch the cutscene that you've seen it once already. So that allows you to, uh, you know, do it way quicker here. So keep shooting here. Gonna hit that reload real quick. I wish there was a thing that allowed you to um, reload as you go, like a, a mod. That'd be kind of cool if they added something like that, because that'd be pretty dope. All right, so now we're just gonna take him out. This is how you want to take him out. This is how you want to be quick with it. And he should almost be dead. He should be one shot. Yeah, he's dead. As you see right there, very nice. Another 1,500 points. And as you can see, it's so sequentially as we go here, of course, the higher level you go, uh, the more XP you're going to need. And that's where you just need to alternate bosses. I'm just doing it here to give you guys a quick example. Uh, once you get to these type of levels, uh, you know, you can just easily do it here. As long as you follow my videos, you guys should be good. Because basically, the, what, what makes it go fast, of course, is the gun and having the right pals and the right synergy here. Throw our power here. And make sure you get that reload up in here real quick. All right, here we go. All right, hit that reload. Now you need like a good amount of bullets here. So that's, that's why when you watch my video on the weapon, uh, you should have enough ammo to, uh, to do this multiple times, okay? Now you can hit fire. Hit fire works actually pretty good as here. You don't have to be aiming all the time. And we should be good here. Now you can also kill him a lot quicker if you have uh pals that actually are really good against lightning. So you could also do it that way as well. And as you see right there, he is dead. So we're almost here hit level 25. I think if we do these like three more times, we should be able to hit level 25. And that's how you want to do it. So the higher level you go. The harder bosses you want to do to earn more xp and that is how you are pretty much going to level up really quick in pal world now if you guys want to know what are the best pals to get early make sure you guys check out the video that's popping up right now on the screen and if you're enjoying our content a like would be greatly appreciated don't forget to subscribe turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one